Straight up talking about what the future holds I can't give a bird a ring, this ain't the Super Bowl And mirror selfies and boy shorts, shoot cute and those Was orgasms back to back, you got Yeah, yeah, man, it's the homie hood legend back with another vlog Here to recap that RBE event, that Mad vs. Serious card Uh... I could have did it yesterday or Saturday or whatever, but it was Labor Day. I was chilling with the fam. I was relaxing and shit like that right there. But nonetheless, better late than never. Uh, I think I caught, like, I didn't catch the whole car. I think I caught, like, three or four battles maybe on the car. I think I caught the Math and the Serious joint. I caught the uh, Bad News and Swave Sever joint. I caught the uh, Oops and uh, uh, Emerson Kennedy joint. Uh... And the Young Cannon, the Young Cannon and the uh, Jay Murder joint. That was the battle of the night. That was the battle of the night. And then the uh, uh, Rosenberg Raw and the Craig Lamar joint. You know what I'm saying? Like, Rosenberg Raw wild out. That nigga got the, he got the uh, the battle of the night. You know what I'm saying? Rosenberg Raw got battle of the night of the whole event if I would have, if I would have had to give it to anybody. But, like, to keep it real, like, math and serious. That shit was kind of like, wow, B. I'm looking at this crowd like, like, yo, it was a couple of joints that was okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, be be between them niggas, the first and the second round. But, like, to keep it a buck, this was like, this battle was more boring than the Averb and Loaded Lux battle. It was, this battle was more boring than the Averb and Loaded Lux battle. And that was a boring battle. So, I'm just like, yo, for this to be the main event, and for the battle to be a snooze fest, and for them to know it, you know what I'm saying? Like, even though, like, it was, like, a lot of momentum building up to this shit, and for the battle to turn, turn out like that was, like, disappointing, but I'm glad it's out of the way so niggas don't even have to, like, travel down that road anymore. We don't even have to look at that, like, think about the battle anymore. You know what I'm saying? But overall, like... The event was pretty cool. It w it was okay. It could have been better if it if that battle take that battle off the card and you got a pretty good card right there. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Young Cannon and motherfucking Jay Murder battle of the night. Them niggas wild out. Them niggas wild out. It was a joint in there that that Young Cannon had a joint was like he was he was going at uh Jay Murder, and the nigga was like. You got into a battle, you got into a shirt pulling contest with O Red, something, 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 and a nigga said like, the uh, you pulled on Red shirt, like, and they signed, and he set you. Down. Oh my God, that was crazy. That was the bar tonight. The nigga like a red shirt freshman, red shirt. Oh my, oh my God, that was crazy. But that was the battle of the night. I gave that battle to. Uh, Jay Murder, I gave that shit to Jay Murder 2-1, I gave him the first and the third, I think I gave Young Cannon the second, uh, that's when he had the red shirt, uh, line, that, that was fire, the third, Young Cannon kind of was scrambling, and he, the third, he kept doing this to Jay Murder, if the nigga, if the nigga take the training angle on you, like, who cares, my nigga, like, you don't got to keep doing this, do it once and just say, alright, I'm done with it, like, it's, it kind of made me feel like the angle was kind of true, of what, why you kept like, do this, all this other crazy shit, like your body language was like, yo, is this, is this, is that angle kind of true with this nigga, you know what I'm saying, but, nonetheless, I gave that battle to Jay Murder, uh, with the math and the serious battle, like I said, kind of was a snooze fest, I gave that shit too serious, the first and the third, I gave math the second, uh, then I, then you had motherfucking, uh, Craig Lamar and Rosenberg Raw. Uh, Rosenberg Raw got the battle of the night. In my eyes, uh, I gave that shit to Rosenberg Raw 3-0, 30, even though Craig Lamar first round kind of was all right. This nigga has energy, man. But this nigga just keep dropping the fucking ball. This nigga is kind of like, he's kind of like an NFL player that's good as, that's good as hell. Got, you know what I'm saying? He, he got a, a crazy upside, but when the nigga, he, he perform in practice. But when the nigga get on the field and the shit where it really count, the nigga drop the ball or he don't catch the ball. Like, it's, I don't get it, Craig Lamar. You done got chances and all this shit, my nigga. And it's like, you are not taking advantages of what you're getting. 
You know what I'm saying? And like, and pretty soon niggas, niggas gonna stop giving you these chances. Niggas gonna stop giving you these looks, my nigga, because you you get paid for this, my nigga. You're a professional. You're not in the PGs when you don't get paid. I'm pretty sure a lot a lot of other niggas would have that PG that's not getting paid now would be in your spot that would want to be in your spot and get paid and would not and would take advantage of that shit. You know what I'm saying? You're not taking advantage of your opportunities, and I think you might need to go back into the lab and redo that shit. And somebody says that he has another big opponent coming up. Oh my god, are you serious? After you just dropped the ball and at RBE, now you have another. Oh, whatever. Anyway, all right. So those are the three battles. Then you then you have Swave and Bad News. That was a pretty good battle. You know what I'm saying? Swave try to bully the bully bad news bad news wasn't having it back and forth it was a pretty good back and forth but i gave that shit to swave with the first and the third i gave it to swave with the first and the third i'm just gonna keep it a buck i gave bad news the second bad news is fire he from north carolina he from the hometown you know what i'm saying he from the mount i got niggas you know what i'm saying that be in the mount you know what i'm saying my nigga young wavy and shit like that right there so the the, the murder mount you know what i'm saying I, I know about the mount you know what i'm saying so like I, I, fucks, I fucks with bad news. I fuck with bad news all the way. Hard body, you know what I'm saying? Carolina shit, you feel me? You hurt? But I just, like, I couldn't give him that battle. I, I, I really couldn't. I wanted to. I wanted to smack Swave up because Swave was going out there talking shit. Yeah, son, it's Swave, sever. some some something. But I wanted I wanted bad news to, to smack this nigga up. But, like, he, he, he didn't. Like, he disappointed me a little bit in this battle. But I think he'll bounce back and have a, and have a good showing after this, you know what I'm saying, like, Bad News is like the rookie of the year for this year, you know what I'm saying, rookie of the year, honorable mention, and, and, and all of this shit that's going on with this year, about a, a battle rap, Bad News is, is, is the rookie of the year for this shit, you know what I'm saying, word up, but I think that's that's really like, all the battles I caught on this card, it, you know, the, the card was kind of, you know, lackluster, as I hear a lot of niggas been saying, it, it, it really wasn't all, all that, like, uh, you know, I support the culture though, you know what I'm saying, so I, I did buy the pay-per-view or whatever, but, you know, like, I feel like RBE, like, is gonna have a better event after this, this, you know, every time, every time a league has a bad event, it teaches them something, it, it shows them something, it shows them what battle is the book, what battle is not the book next time, who needs to sit down, who needs to, who needs to rest, who, like, you know what I'm saying, so because, like, this this shit happens to a lot of leagues. They have a lot of bad events, and then after that, they usually come back, and the next two, three events be fire after that because they learn a lot. These niggas are like artists. These niggas are like bloggers because, like, niggas learn from shit. You learn from your experience. You know what I'm saying? Living off experience, LOX. You know what I'm saying? The locks. Shout out, shout out to D-Block. But you, you learn. You learn from that shit. So I feel like this card was a lesson for ARP and the whole RBE that that they what they went through and how the crowd was all like you know what I'm saying like I, I like I wouldn't the A is pretty cool niggas was reacting but I feel like the math and the serious battle the main event niggas weren't reacting like that I don't know if it was the balls I don't know what was going on what the case was but but like I said uh, those are the battles that I call I just put everything all in one little blog instead of doing this shit separate because this event was not really all that but. You know what I'm saying? Salute ARP, RBE. You know what I'm saying? All all y'all over there, the whole staff management. But anyway, it's the Homie Hood Legend. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel for all your latest news, updates, content, and the world of battle rap. I'm out.